So hello, hello everyone. This is Kathy and thank you for coming to my channel. I'm here today with number 61 of the 100 day challenge. And today I'm going to be making a little kind of card holder, ATC holder, um, or you could put anything you want in it. Um, so let's get started. The first thing that I have, oh, and this is taken from a project that is on Victoria Designs channel. I've adapted it a little bit, made it a little simpler. First thing I did was I have eight of these pieces of paper cut out. And this is cardstock. And it measures three and three quarters by five and three quarters. So these are three and three quarters by five and three quarters. The first thing that I'm going to do is fold them in half. And I want this side facing up. I want a nice crisp fold. I'm going to do a couple at once. And I'm using double-sided cardstock. You actually don't have to, but it makes it a little easier. You have to do less inking if you don't want the inside of these, which are going to be pockets showing. And the paper that I'm using is from Tim Holtz's Wildflowers. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, if I can find my little circle punch, I'm going to cut a notch in the center. As center as I can get it. Those pieces are flying everywhere. This is getting a little dull. Okay, the next thing, after I clean this mess up, I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to score this at a half an inch up. So, oh, I hate this ruler. The ruler doesn't have a a longer line at half an inch. Okay. 
Okay. You know what? I'm gonna use my scoreboard. I think it'll make it easier. My little scoreboard. And I'm gonna do, it's gonna go through both sides. I'll do it just like that. And all you do is folding back on the, the line, on the score line. My doggy is scratching at the door. Then when I let him in, he'll scratch on the door to go out. He does not like closed doors especially when I'm doing a video. That would be my Jimmy. He's 13, a little over 13. We adopted him from the pound when he was a little over 10. And he's the cutest thing. He's a Shih Tzu. He's deaf and blind, but that does not stop him. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue these into pockets. I'm going to glue them a couple of ways. I'm going to put glue in this center fold like that, glue that down, and then I'm going to glue up the side. And I'm going to do that on all of them. So I will finish them and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have eight little pockets here. I know I'm gonna have to add some more glue later, but we'll see. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece I'm going to actually work backwards from here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, as you can see from the template, well, first of all, let me sh tell you how long I made this. I made it nine inches long by four inches wide. 
So nine by four with a uh, score at every half inch. That gives us 18 um, spaces. Now I'm gonna just, because this was a little off, I'm gonna just cut out a piece and mark where the holes will be. And I'm going to take a hole punch and I'm going to punch using the smaller hole in an inch. So I'm going, whoops, wrong side. And I want to get it as straight as I possibly can. Even though I know this isn't straight, but I didn't say perfect. I said as straight as I possibly can. Trying to get it right in the center so that I have a whole up and down, one inch in of each score space. And I think the easiest way to do this is with a hole punch. You could do it with an awl, a pokey tool. Um, and I'm going to do, see where I was a little off, but I'm going to do the same thing over here. If you're a marker, you can certainly mark it, and I'm sure it'll be much more accurate than what I'm doing. But it'll all work out. Okay. So again, the holes were about an inch in on either side. Now I'm going to fold this accordion style. I want to put the first piece going down and then just regular. And if you've done a really good job with your holes, they're all going to match up. I know mine aren't, but it's still going to work out. I mean, they matched up for a little bit. And you want to stop and make a crisp fold every couple of times. Because if these aren't straight, your scores and your folds aren't straight, you're going to have a real wonky little journal thingy. And just go back and forth, back and forth, and your last piece should be facing down just like your first piece. 
So you have something that looks like this. Okay. Next thing you want to do, you want to get some string out. I'm going to use um, this wax thread. You can use embroidery floss. You can use string. I'm using this wax thread because I like to do this using a needle. You don't have to use a needle. You know, if yours is going to go right through. But I like to use a needle. So I'm just getting this ready. And you're going to need quite a bit of thread. Not that much, but I just like to, I keep it on the roll for a while. But before I do that, I'm going to take my envelopes. And these need holes as well. So I'm actually going to take my little template and you can do this one of two ways. I'm going to use do it with a template or you can do it by placing it in the fold and marking each one. which maybe I'll do. Maybe that's not a bad idea. So, there, there. Let's just What you have to do is make sure you keep them in the same order that you've marked them in. So once you've marked them, make sure that they're centered inside the little thingamabubber. And then mark it. So this was my first one. This is my second one. So it's one, two. This will be my third one. It's not too bad because you only have eight. So one, two, three, here's my fourth one. Right, one, two, three, four. Making sure it's centered pretty well. Five. Seven. And one last one is eight. Okay. Now what we're going to do we're going to poke holes in the envelopes or put holes I'm not poking anything Two. 
Okay. Starting with number one, I'm going to take my needle. Now I could put them in, actually I am going to put them in all the way and then I'm going to clip it closed. Okay. And I'm just gonna clip one side because I know there's gonna be some adjusting I'm going to have to do. So, it goes through pretty easily. You wanna make sure you didn't put two in the same little accordion space. Okay. All the way through with one. Take my scissors away. Then I'm going to come on the other side. I'm going to unclip it. I'm going to clip it on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. unclip this because it's kind of pulling. Yeah, it's much easier. Whoops. Okay. Went through. That's a good thing. Pull it tight. I have a lot of string here. And I'm simply going to pull it tight. I'm gonna double check that each pocket is in its own little accordion spot and I didn't double up. It doesn't look like I did. This is where you need your third hand. <laughs> Excuse my head. Okay. And now I'm going to clip this just like that. So what I have is an accordion with eight pockets. Just like that. Next, I'm going to work on a cover, and I have it over here somewhere. I've cut two pieces of black cardstock that are a little larger than the accordion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score these at a half an inch as well.
in when I do that, I want to gently fold it back, particularly because I'm using this black cardstock and it does have a tendency to crack. I didn't wet it first, which would have helped. And I'm going to score this using a ruler so it also can bend easily after I glue it. Okay, so oops, whoa, went off course here. And I'm going to match up my score line to the score line on the black card stock. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Well, that's a little off, and I'm going to cut it just a little bit. here and it's going to fold just like that and the same on the back Whoops, this has to go this way. There we go. No, wait, it's gonna go like this. It's gotta go the opposite. It's gonna go like this and this. Remember that in the back, it has to go the opposite than it was previously. Okay. I always like to smooth down the, the spaghetti glue. The next thing we need to do is put some holes in this. So I'm going to line it up so that's centered on the black. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so that's going to go like this. And then on the back, line it up, kind of center it. And that's going to go here and here. Okay, now we're going to take our needle and thread again. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. And we're going to start with the front. Go through the front. Go through all of these. Should go right through. Go through the back. And go back up through the other side, right through the holes. And the hole. Just like that. Now you don't have to waste as much thread as I am, but you know, I tend to over overcompensate when it comes to the threads. And I wanna see if I have a little charm or something. I don't know if I have any in here. Let's see what I have. No, I have a key, but my key's too big. Let's see if I have one in here. Oh, there's one of these. That'll look pretty, I think. Or a blue one, no. Or focus on the good. I think I'll put this one. Okay, so I'm going to, actually what I think I'll do, I think it'll look pretty, can make this like part of the binding if it goes through all the way. Please go through. There we go. That might be pretty there. Take this back through the back. Whoop. Take this back this way. Leave that there. Push this here. Take this back through the back. Okay. 
So we will tie that in the back. Make sure that's in the front, yep. Okay, I like that. Tie it one more time. Clip it. And clip it. And we have something that looks like this. Now I do want to put something here. Let's see what we have, what kind of scraps. This would be pretty. to use my cutter for this. Whoa! I can get it straight. So how long is this? This is about four inches. I'm going to take a little bit off to make it straight. And right here, that looks good. And then in the back, we'll make it the same size. And in the back. Just like that. And I want to round the corners. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that because I didn't do it to this. Let me see if it'll let me. No. Oh, well. Okay. So, what you have now is an eight-pocket little holder. And you can put anything in here. You could put tags. I just want to make sure it's not stuck together. Um, 
What I'm going to be using eventually is I'm going to use these business cards and I'm going to decorate. You can buy these in packs at the office supply store or Walmart or wherever. And these are going to go in each of these. Make sure they fit. I'll have to cut them down just a bit. And they'll go in here and they'll also be put in there with some tabs that I will put on. But I'm not going to take time to do that now. So each card will have a tab that I can take out and either give away or use or whatever I want to do with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that quick number 61 of the 100 Day Challenge. Thank you to Victoria Designs for her idea. And um, check out her channel. This project or a project similar is free on her YouTube channel. You just have to click and give them your email address and she'll give you all the papers that you need. Um, their free projects, Victoria Designs, is really worth it um, to check out. Okie doke. Well, thank you so much for joining me and you all have a great one. Bye.